Welcome back. What three lures should you be using in the dog days of July where it's hot? Before we get into it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you're new, comment below and say hello, because I'd like to say hello back. But right now, here's the top three lures you should be using in July. First off, I'm trying to pick lures that work throughout the country. Really, some things that work in Michigan really aren't going to work down here. Just like a drop shot, which is a great bait to be using up north right now. I should have that on here. I actually do have it on here, but I'm not going to talk about it. I think a drop shot is perfect right now. But right now, because it's July, there's a couple things that are going on. We're going to have lower oxygen levels for the fish. So as the day gets up and it's a lot warmer, those fish are going to seek out anything that is structure related or deeper water. And that's what you should target when the sun is up. Now for me, and maybe for a lot of you, I like to fish the mornings and then the evenings. During the middle of the day, it's just too damn hot. And I hate wearing sunscreen. Not to mention, I think sunscreen if you put sunscreen on and then touch a soft plastic, I think fish can smell it and they deter, they go away from it. So that's a, another key little bite there that I haven't shared. So like I mentioned, fish are going to be offshore in the middle of the day. And then as it gets dusk, they're going to slide their ways towards the shallows. However, here is a key point. There are still going to be fish in the shallow water, in that, on those edges they will be less pressured than those fish that are in deeper water. So targeting them could get you big bass, I mean big fish and more fish, but you have to be using the right baits. So the first bait I think you should be using is a frog. Now, we have two frogs. We have what I think is the best frog on the market. This is the uh, Molex Sneaky Frog. And it's small, but why I like this is because it just, it works great. It walks the dog great. And then we have the Six Sense Vega. This is a spitting one. Now you need to decide which one you want to use. Um, I'm going to use this one, to be honest. Not that I don't think that the Vega is a great lure. I want to use something where I can make a bomb cast. And this is shaped like a bullet. It really is shaped like a bullet. And when you cast it, it goes a country mile. Now, the flaw in this one is, is I don't know if you can see that, the hooks are pointed downwards, whereas the Vega is pointed upwards. Now, here's the difference you need to know. When you use something that is pointed downwards, you need to count to three before you set the hook. On the Vega, you can pretty much set the hook as soon as you feel or see the bite and you'll catch that fish. The thing with the frog that you need to remember, it doesn't matter what frog you want to pick, it's about how much that frog will collapse. In July, we're going to have a lot of grass coming up, and there's going to be grass on, the, uh, on top of the water and then grass below. So working a frog on top of grass or sludge or whatever it is, you will find bass that are hiding underneath that because they are able to stay underneath there and not get beat up by the sun too. So as they're seeing it sitting underneath the grass, they see that bait walk over them and they can get it. Now why I like the walking frog over the spitting frog is I like the constant action. I think when, the, when it becomes this time of year, fish are a little bit more aggressive to baits that are continuously moving. Where your popping frog is a pop and then let it sit, pop and then let it sit. With the, the molex, you can just continuously walk the bait over everything. So that's my first bait for July. Now my second bait is one that I love to throw. However, it doesn't cast real well. It's a buzz bait. Now normally I would have a buzz bait and I'd put on a trailer with it because I think you need that extra action. But what makes a buzz bait perfect this time of year is the noise that it makes and where it can go. A buzz bait can go over lily pads, it can go over grass, it can go over everything. The problem is it's not very aerodynamic so you don't get a lot of distance out of it. But the noise that the, the 
buzzbait makes is really the important thing. As that clicks over the water, it chugs and it makes bass angry. Well, in my opinion, it makes bass angry. And that chugging noise, the water trail, the water bubble trail, and other things make that bait perfect in July. So, if you want a good one, early in the morning and evening, that buzz bait with that goat trailer is perfect. So, July, we've talked about a buzz bait. We've talked about a frog, which I think is crucial right now. I think drop shotting, if you're up north, is perfect finding that structure or that stump or whatever it is bass will tend to stick to those ambush points so that that is where you should be targeting those fish but right now up north not down here you need to have a big big crankbait on your line now this one isn't a super deep diver and you should know that the thicker that the bill is, the least action the bait will get. The thinner it is, which will not deflect off cover real well, the better and tighter and wobblier that bait will be in the water. Now why I think you should have a crankbait on, it's a great search bait, but right now you can throw that in deeper water and run it right over top of everything. You don't need to pause it, you don't need to do anything. You just need to cast it and just crank it in. You know, sometimes you might need to stop it for a millisecond and then restart, but a crankbait is ultra important in July because they're gonna go after uh, baits that have more action. I was gonna put in a twitch bait for this month because I really think a twitch bait is great. The problem though is, is a twitch bait I feel like is more towards the winter. However, you can rip this one in right now and you're going to get tons and tons of strikes. They're great baits. They really are great baits. Now I should mention, on the crankbait, now this one isn't a crankbait, but a lipless will be great this time of year too. Because you can find where the grass is and just rip it over the grass and those the bass will be sitting under or in that grass waiting to ambush anything. I like, this is the only time of the month where I actually like using something that is not, is color oriented. A silver, shiny crankbait, lipless crankbait that makes a lot of noise. We'll tell them it's coming and they'll be looking for it too. So, lipless crankbait, deep diving crankbait, we're gonna say, is my third pick for the month. So, I think I gave you three, and I think you gave you one more, and that one's on me. You're welcome. You're welcome. I hope you guys like these kind of videos. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also, comment below and tell me what you think. Guys, remember, take a kid fishing, Get your fish on. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your um kids fishing.